The first day of Minnesota's Farm Fest kicked off this morning in Redwood County. That is just west of Mankato. The three-day event hosts local leaders, lawmakers, and of course farmers to discuss key questions pertaining to agriculture and rural America. Minnesota's congressional candidates for the first and the second districts were there this morning as well debating the issues. Our Eric Min joins us live here in studio tonight at 6 with more on this story. So Eric, with this year being an election year, plenty of politics at play at Farm Fest. That's right, Brock. Congressional, congressional candidates from the 1st and 2nd districts debated on hot topics such as the farm bill, crop insurance, livestock, and disaster relief. For our 1st district, which stretches across the bottom portion of Minnesota and includes Rochester, the candidates include Republican incumbent Brad, fin Brad Finstead, as well as DFL challenger Rachel Bowman, and Republicans Gregory Getzman and Sean Tweeden. Through the discussion, the welfare of southern Minnesota farmers was front and center. Farming and agriculture is in our family DNA. It's in southern Minnesota's DNA. According to Republican Representative Brad Finstead, crop insurance is something he hears about a great deal these days. What I heard in each one of those 21 county stops uh, and listening sessions was the, the need to strengthen crop insurance to make sure that we make it more accessible, more affordable. On a similar note, DFL District 1 challenger Rachel Bowman says southern Minnesota farmers have faced a variety of challenges due to frequent severe weather this summer. We're not thanking you enough. We are not telling you enough how much we appreciate the work that you're doing. Why not help uh, the farmers out when, they have, when they're under stress? Republican candidate Sean Tweeden says farmers deserve to have a voice in the lawmaking process, especially with regards to the farm bill. I would like for uh, local farmers to have a lot more say in that, and I'd like for a lot more of the bill um, not to go to the top 1 or 10 percent. All of the candidates shared a mission that they want to listen to the local farmers and be their voice. We can't have you taking all of that risk on your own back. I mean, that is just not the way that we want to support you as farmers. Voters will narrow down the field of candidates for Minnesota House races one week from today, that is August 13th. The top vote getters from each party will advance to the November 5th general election. To view the full forum, visit the link in our web story at kddc.com. Live in the studio, Eric Mint, KDDC News.